Today I'm going to be drawing this dog portrait of a friend's dog named Bori. I thought her fluffy fur would be fun to work with. These are my usual settings for my canvas, and today I'll be turning it portrait. After I insert my reference photo, I'm going to duplicate that layer and add a second smaller reference photo to look at for color and detail. I'm going to start the illustration on a new layer and like many of my other drawings, I like to start with the studio pen tool. What I'm going to do is add lines to show the fur outline, so I'm selecting a dark brown color so that it will stand out well against her fur color when I color in later. I'm going in by tracing the outline of the fur with short strokes, and it's important here to take advantage of the pressure of the brushes to have a mixture of thickness and length. And I think it looks best if you don't make any stick straight lines, but rather soft curves and I'm going to do that to the whole body. Now I'm going to add a new layer under this and starting to color in using the copper head brush. I'm going to start with the darkest color I see in the reference photo and go lighter by layer. This brush actually worked perfectly for her fur because the brush itself has smaller strokes that mimic her hair, um, hair type. I like to make many layers of the different tones I see, so here I'm going in with an almost light pinkish color. Now I'm using a more gray tone color for lighter shadows and texture. I'm going in with a pinkish white for the highlights. After I'm done with the fur coloring, I'm going to group that into one and start drawing the eyes. For this, I like to go back to using the studio pen tool and start by making a black base. Then 
then I will start layering whatever color I see. Usually there are some dark browns and blues and dog's eyes with grays and whites as the highlight. After I merge the eye layers together, I'm going to move on to the nose and the mouth. Again, I'm using the studio pen tool to pick up the colors I see in the photo to lay them on top of each other. It can look rough at first, but I'm just going to blend everything together using the smudge tool. After turning the background off, I noticed a lot of spots I didn't catch, so I'm coloring that in. Now I'm moving on to the mouth layer, which I placed below the fur coloring. Usually photos pick up the color of the tongue really dark, so I like to use a lighter color than the photo. After making the base color with this pink, I'm using a darker shade of the color to make the shadows. I made a new layer underneath this mouth layer to color in the open space around her mouth and use the copperhead brush to add the fur texture. Since she had long fluffy fur, I noticed the summer relapse her nose and mouth, so I'm adding a new layer to add some strands of hair. When I think I'm done with the drawing, I like to go back in, adding a little bit more highlights, a little bit more shadow to make it a little bit more crisp, and here is me making some final touches. I always love to add a cute color for the background, so I selected this light foresty green and because the drawing itself is pretty transparent, I'm gonna add a white layer underneath that. I didn't like how noticeable the white background was, so I used the Gaussian Blur tool to make it a little bit more blended and look like it's just glowing. So here's how the final illustration turned out. And here's an extra clip showing you a different composition if you want to add your dog's name.
Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again in the next video.